This one about the brisk conversational pace of everyday life involves a couple idioms that the GMAT just loves to test. Let's look at the first one. So, and then some adjective that, or so, adjective, as to. So, for example, so small that I didn't see it, or so small as to not see it. The first one is actually correct, and the one that the GMAT prefers, the second one is incorrect. And so everywhere where the that appears, that's perfectly correct, and the as to, that's the problematic one. A is also missing the that. It's needed there, so that's a problem with A. The second is the preposition following the word ability. Ability to do something, ability for doing something. The first is the correct idiom here as well, and the second one is always wrong on the GMAT. So ability for, that's wrong. Ability to, ability to, ability to, that's correct. Ability for, that's wrong. So A and E are actually out on two counts now. That leaves us with B, C, and D. So notice that we, what we have here are two abilities that we're talking about for the kids, and these verbs have to be in parallel. So distinguishing and to make, that's not in parallel, so that's, that's actually strike three against option A. To distinguish, to make, that's a proper parallel. To distinguish, and as a result of this, they are unable to make sounds, that's not a proper parallel. To distinguish results in not making, that one is particularly strange because it puts hampers and results in parallel, which is not the intended meaning of the sentence at all. That, that drastically changes the meaning to something quite illogical. It's really these two that should be in parallel and they're not. So D is out also, and that just leaves B. And B is grammatically correct, direct, sleek. It is a very strong answer choice, and certainly the strongest among these five. Answer choice B.